Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nancy Grace. I've dispensed the froth from my mouth from the last segment, and I'm ready to go again. Call me a thirsty, thirsty girl. We have a bombshell tonight. Two little black kids have gone missing in a suburban Texas town. For more on the story, we go to our token Latino in the field, Tino Gomez. Tino, what's going on? Thanks, Dicor. This story has been captivating the entire nation for the last 12 hours. Two children went missing without a trace. Law enforcement officials have actually gotten out of their vehicles to look for these little bastards. And guess what? They're black. So take that, all you conspiracy theorists. <laughs> yes, but it has been a slow day here at the newsroom, Nance. Now, Tina, are you sure their mother didn't rape, bound, and kill them, put some duct tape over their mouths? Maybe throw them in a swamp somewhere. I'm sure there's a swamp around there somewhere. I mean, it is Texas. Hello? Give it up for Tino. I've got good news, Nancy. The children have been found. Turns out they were just at a friend's house reading some books. <laughs> and HLN has obtained a copy of the letter that they left for their mother. Hey, Gary, why don't you go ahead and bring that up on screen there? Mom, you lazy ass bitch. I think we can say bitch on the air, right? It's not derogatory to women or anything. We're going to our friend's house right down the streets since you're still sleeping at 2 p.m. We're going to read some books. We packed our own lunch since you can't cook shit besides macaroni and cheese and you even f***ed that up. See you later tomorrow, you irresponsible piece of shit. P.S. Die already so we can get a real parent. Signed, Two Little Black Kids. So there you have it, Nance Pants. It turns out they were just at a friend's house all along reading books. And although reading books isn't against the law yet, <laughs> you have to admit, it's still a little faggish. <laughs> it is, you have to admit, it is a little faggish. So let me get this straight. This is just outrageous. So they left their parent a note telling them that they were going down the street to read some books. Why didn't that lazy son of a bitch notice that note, Tino? She said that she thought it was a fake because she doesn't even know anyone that owns books. <laughs> yeah, we were able to catch an exclusive interview with some of the neighbors. Watch. You said some kids got stolen. Well, maybe they just needed their asses whipped. Everything about that. So what are you asking me for anyways? You think I can see anything out of these damn eyes? And get the hell off my property. Or bust your ass off. Bobby didn't see nothing. He was too busy garage sailing and getting people pregnant to notice some black kids walking down the street sans mother. You know, Tino, excuse me, but I've been in law for quite some time now. Are you sure that one of those neighbors didn't Jerry Sandusky those children? Of course I asked them that, and they said no. There was no Jerry Sanduskying of any kind. They didn't even wrestle. Well, Tino, do you know of anyone that might have raped and stolen some children's? One group of people that we might want to look into is Halliburton. They're a major contractor for the United States government, and they've been found to be running a child sex ring for many years now. But good luck getting an interview with one of those sons of bitches. So we're left to speculate day and night about unsubstantial bullshit while the real sick bastards give us shitty mortgages. Back to you, hillbilly mouth. Well, these kids didn't get raped and killed this evening, but I'm sure at some point they will, Tino. And the sick bastard that does it will probably only get the death penalty. And it'll be lethal injection, so it won't even hurt whatsoever. He'll just go off to sleep and just be feeling all nice and good and all that stuff. Well, that's not good enough for Nancy Grace. I want to cut his f off and feed it to him while he drifts in and out of consciousness. Then I want to take a pair of rusty scissors and cut up in his ass. Now that's what I call justice. Justice, Nancy Grace style. Nancy's getting rowdy, oh jeez. <laughs> Listen up ladies. The fact of the matter is, is that at some point in your life you're gonna get raped. It may be after a few wine coolers when you go out with your friends hoping to get some tan cock, or it might be your husband who's just pissed off because you ain't gave him the tang in a while. But it's gonna happen eventually. Now the question is, is what are you gonna do when it does happen? Are you going to go home and cry like a little bitch into your peller? Or are you going to watch my show and try and arm yourself with the knowledge so that it doesn't happen? Watch my show. I totally agree, Nancy. Oh, jeez. 
Was one of my milkers hanging out there and you guys didn't tell me? Let me just put that baby back in the barn door there. I'm sorry, what was you saying, Tino? Hey, Nancy, I like your stupid ass necklace. <laughs> you know what, Tino, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to wrap this up because I think mama just shit her damn britches. So is there anything else you need to say? Who dresses you? <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nancy Grace. Peace out, bitches.